In this video lesson, you'll discover how to use and apply the pen and wash watercolor technique to make a limited color artwork. Pen and Wash Church of All Saints, Florence Video lesson by Vladimir London Here is the artwork I will achieve by the end of this video lesson. Before creating a big-scale painting, I make a quick sketch on location, capturing the design details of this church, and making some decisions on the composition. I am using the pen and wash painting technique to make this small sketch. With the drawing in place, I will use water-resistant sepia ink to outline this composition once again, using the pen and ink medium. There are many different styles of pen and ink hatching, and if you would like to learn to draw with ink, I would suggest checking the Drawing Academy course. In this online video course, you will find numerous lessons on the pen and ink drawing technique. The advantage of the pen and wash watercolour painting technique is that the drawing can be as detailed as you want it to be, whereas the washes on top can be applied much more freely, sometimes with little attention to the drawing. It is time to decide on the colours. For the entire artwork, I will be using only three pigments yellow ochre light, burnt sienna, and ultramarine. These pigments are highly permanent, produce good gradients in washes, and I know very well what to expect from them. The yellow tint of this layer will be the lightest tonal value for this artwork. The saw wash is the ideal method for this purpose. If you missed the video lesson on how to do the plain wash, you may check the multiple rules of using this painting method in the dedicated video lesson of the Watercolor Academy course. The sky is now totally dry, and I will apply one more gradated wash to make the gradient of the sky even more pronounced. Although I am using three different pigments, this artwork will look almost like a monochrome. This is precisely the effect that I wish to achieve, a painting in the style of the old masters, who didn't have the luxury of all the new pigments produced by numerous contemporary manufacturers all over the world. Because this linear drawing also has a brown sepia colour, it looks very much an integral part of this artwork, not as something that was done separately.